Hey friends, it's Jen from Gold Nutrition. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at my quarter four planner lineup. So if that sounds good to you, then just keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. I'm so happy you're here. At the beginning of 2022, I shared my planner lineup for the year and I also gave an update back in the spring. And so I thought it would be nice to revisit the series and show you what I've landed on for the last quarter of this year. I would say all in all that my lineup hasn't changed dramatically, but there have been some changes along the way. What we're going to look at today are the four planners that I'm using. And four planners may sound like a lot. Maybe in comparison to some people, it's not a lot, but I'm going to go through each of them and let you know why I have a few different planners and how I use them. I'm excited to get into it. So let's get into it. So the first two planners that I'm going to talk about, I very recently shared setup videos of. So I'm not gonna go away into detail on those and I will link the videos for you, but I will just share them with you briefly in case you're new here or you didn't catch those. So this planner right here is my main planner, maybe what a lot of people would call their catch-all planner. And I have it housed right now in a Moterm cover, a Moterm agenda cover. This is a half letter size planner. I know there's probably a little bit of glare on the laminated cover. I'll kind of put my hand here. This is my Moterm cover. I'm really enjoying it. I just have um, some little journaling cards here. This is from Jane's Agenda. This is from Cloth and Paper. This is an Ollie clip, and so is this one. I kind of just threw this one on recently, uh, just for fun. And my covers are from Jane's Agenda. I do subscribe to the Monthly Cover Club, which is a monthly subscription where you get covers and dashboards and page finders. And I am an affiliate for Jane's Agenda. I'm also an affiliate for the Happy Place planner and impress manicure. All my affiliate links are down in the description box. If you shop them, I will earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. And if you do that, I thank you so, so much for the support. Also, if you're making your first purchase with Jane's Agenda, you will save 15% with my link or the code GOAL15. So again, thank you so much if you choose to look at that, or even if you click on the links, um, it shows your interest in my content to those companies, and I appreciate your support so, so much. Okay, so just very briefly, this is my half letter. And so like I said, I'm not going to do a full flip through right now, but um, I will link that video for you. I have a top tab system, if you can see, and a side tab system. I have my I have my Live Love Posh pen that's very pretty. All in all, this planner has been working out very well for me and I really enjoy it and it's an exceptional tool. What I have in here is my weekly planning, my wellness planning, a notes section, and some daily pages. So this is my main planner that I use all the time. But like I shared, I have a couple other planners. So as I share them, I'll tell you why I keep them separate. The next planner that I had shared a setup of rather recently, I believe it was in September, I will link that video for you, is my budget planner. Now, my budget planner, I tend not to share any after the pens because that information is private, but I do like to share my budget planner setups because I'm a newbie to budgeting in a lot of ways, or at least to doing it in this way with a planner and trying to really tackle some more of the nitty gritty details around budgeting. I'm still fairly new it. It is a monthly classic size happy planner. This is a deluxe cover from the happy planner. Um, so it has a pocket 
<clears throat> and then this is a laminated cover from a lined vertical planner that I just put on here. I just really enjoy switching up my covers. It makes me happy. And um, sometimes I switch up my discs. These discs are one and a half inch discs from Jane's Agenda. And they've been the perfect size for this planner. And for the most part, although I'm still learning and fine tuning, I really have found this planner to be very useful and I mainly use the monthly spread. So I will again link that setup video for you so you could check out the latest iteration of my budget planner. I also have a whole budgeting journey playlist if you like those kinds of videos. I will link that for you as well. The reason that I keep this planner separate is that number one, budgeting still kind of stresses me out. So I like just keeping those stressful feelings to one planner and not contaminate my other planners with that feeling, if that makes any sense at all. It makes sense to me. Also, I would never take this planner out of my house because again, it houses sensitive financial information. So this planner stays in my office. Whereas my half letter that I just shared with you, um, I don't carry it with me all the time, but I do carry it to, with me to work because I'm often like probably most of us managing the details of my life while I'm at work, you know, I'm getting notifications about things that are happening at school for the kids and all that. And so I like to have my, that planner with me so I can jot things down as they come up. But this one, it just stays here. So that's my budgeting planner. Very useful tool. Next up, this is my social media slash business planner. If you don't know, I'm a registered dietitian. And I mainly am an employee as a registered dietitian. I work in a diabetes and nutrition center, and I really, really love my job. Back in 2020, I had started my own business called Gold Nutrition, thus the name of my channel. And so uh, I do do some work as a dietitian coach. I do post on Planning Gold and, of course, here on my Gold Nutrition YouTube channel. So it really made sense to have a separate planner to kind of manage all of that. So this is a Franken planner. Uh, if you don't know what a Franken planner is, it just means that there is a mix of different planners or pieces of planners in here. And so I will kind of explain it as we go. This is a Live Love Posh cover that I am obsessed with. <laughs> I used it last year during this time of year and all winter, and I couldn't wait. I put it on even before fall had really started because I just love it and I don't have any plans to take it off anytime soon. These are gold discs from the Happy Planner. They are the, um, I believe they call them medium size. I can link them for you. They're 1.25 inches. Okay, so getting into the planner. This is a little uh, tab with some post-its that came in a, I think it was a wild styled extension pack that I bought on clearance quite some time ago. This is a cover page from, I think this is the cover page from the dashboard planner that is the main planner that I have in here. Um, this was a divider in my very first Happy Planner. It just meant so much to me. Now I trimmed off the tab and I kind of messed it up a little bit, but uh, what you gonna do? Uh, ever since I've had that planner, I have transferred this divider into so many planners. Then I have clipped to it. This is checklist paper from a teacher happy planner that I use to uh, track the tasks that are associated with filming a YouTube video and also sometimes the creation of photos and things like that that will be used for other social media. I'm kind of at a place where I usually am just filming and sharing one video a week because that's what works in my life. But for a little while where when I had some time off, I was filming uh, multiple videos and I, I am trying to create a schedule or a batch content content. So this has been helpful. I believe they sell this checklist paper separately as well. This is um, some more sticky notes from the Happy Planner. This one I actually mounted to packaging from a Happy Planner. It was already punched. 
I think I showed that in a video. So if I, I think it was one of my mini happy planners, cause that is one of the changes from when I started this year, I was using a mini happy planner instead of my half letter. And I loved my mini happy planner. I really, really did. Uh, but I just started to need a little more room. So that's why I went back to half letter, which was my first love. <laughs> Um, this is filler paper that came out recently at Joann's. It was like an exclusive at Joann's that they did like a sewing themed line for the Happy Planner. But I've been using this for a dashboard to keep track of some different content ideas and also anything going on with the companies that I'm an affiliate for. It's blank because I just pulled out September and I'm late getting into October because as I shared in my last video, I was quite ill and I was down for the count for a moment, but I'm, I'm back and I'm getting back into life. So I finally got my planners all in order again and it feels great. <laughs> But that's how I use that. Then we get into my dashboard layout. Um, so I usually use my monthly calendar to track my YouTube videos. And as you saw, there were sticky notes and things jotted on the side. I don't decorate it. It's messy. It's just for function. My dashboard layout, I do like to decorate it. Uh, I don't decorate it all the time. I don't I've just come to a place where I'm taking all that pressure off of myself because I got into decorative planning because I loved it. It was enjoyable. It was stress relieving. And it just makes me really happy when I'm in my planner to see something beautiful. And I'm all about uh, self-care. And to me, it is a form of self-care when you engage in activities like that. But it got to a place where it got overwhelming and I was uh, feeling like a pressure to do it all the time. But I just had to say that that was backwards. It was preventing me from using my planner. I still struggle with that sometimes. But um, anyway, sometimes I decorate it. Sometimes I don't. But the dashboard layout, I will tell you, is my favorite favorite layout to decorate. It just is. The way I use it is that I track my Instagram posts on the dates. I track stats and like to do's like if I know I need to take certain photos or film or anything like that. I make little uh, lists here to remind me about that. That's kind of how I use those sections. Usually too I will list my YouTube video for the week here. So that's that. I use a top tab system in here. I use glass dividers from cloth and paper. So this one says this week, it turns to the current week in my, uh, you know, in I guess what I'd call the social media section of this planner. And I also have November in here. So whoops, there's the November divider. Then I just have an area for some notes. So this is just an area that I will use for this. So I have a um, top tab glass divider for that. This is a divider from an undated planner that I just put it in here. So I would have a side tab. And for this, I, I tried labeling it with my label maker, but my label, I don't have a fancy label maker. I wish I did. Um, and it only prints in black and it, you could see it, but it, it didn't look great. So I ended up pulling it off. Um, so here's my filler paper that were, that I just used for my content ideas. I actually just switched it out cause I had some more spring themed planner paper in here and, um, you know, I never thought of myself as a seasonal planner, but come to find out I'm really a seasonal planner. And I, you know, even though I don't feel like everything has to be like matchy matchy, although I don't mind that, um, I just like having a certain vibe to my planner. I like, I want it to give me a certain feeling when I'm in it. And, um, and so that's kind of how I approach the decor aspect of my planner and even some of the organization. So this next section is for my projects. So back in 2021, 
I had run a group coaching program called the Well Planned Goals Group Coaching Program. It was the first iteration of it. I offered spots to different members of the planner community. It was an awesome experience. I learned so much. I met some amazing people. I had had plans to run it again and to keep it going, but then I w- took the job at the Diabetes Center. I really needed to de- dedicate some time to adjusting to the new schedule, but I'm somewhat more, more settled in there. So now I'm starting to think about how I'd like to reimagine that program and bring it back. That's kind of what I use this section of my planner for. It is very frank and planned, but what it is is This is a divider from the Beauty and Florals uh, planner, which I was utterly in love with, but I'm not a vertical planner. And this was a vertical layout planner. I really ended up not using the guts of that planner, but you know, live and learn. I I was trying to force myself into a box I didn't fit into. What can I say? So I use the monthly layout anyway. It's kind of been slow going, getting into real planning around this. I've had a lot less time than I thought I would. So clip to there, I just have a piece of dot grid paper. This is kind of a new thing that I'm doing. So I might either vision board on it or I might switch it out for a lined piece of paper and do a brain dump. I'm not sure. The next pieces that I have in here are from the Girl with Goals extension pack, which was an hourly, was an undated hourly layout extension pack that was for goal setting. So this is a page from there. These are some dated tasks lists. I have my top tab glass divider from cloth and paper labeled projects. And then there's some pages glued together. This is also from that extension pack. Then I just have November, which look at that dashboard. That is stunning. Um, Okay, then we get into my budget section, which is separate. Like my budget planner is all my personal finances, but this was just to track a little bit of my business related finances. There's a few things that I pay for to keep my business running, like my electronic medical record and Canva, things like that. Um, and then, you know, any income. So I I pulled everything out that has any writing. Um, I'm not using this uh, undated monthly calendar here, but um, I suppose I could just put the other page in, but I was using these uh, one pagers. These came in like a be happy box. Yeah, this is kind of like a section of the planner that I'm still sort of playing with figuring out. And then I have this income tracker that I made in Canva. Then I have a piece of acetate that I put a adhesive pen loop on and some sticky notes because I love having an inbox like that. The only thing I'll say about this is it's not quite sturdy enough. So like this punch is starting to wear. I think what I'm going to do is remake this and laminate it. And I want to do that for my other planners too. So I can add a pen loop. You can absolutely add an adhesive pen loop just to your laminated cover interior. For me, I like doing it this way. So I could transfer the pen loop from planner to planner and reuse it. So this has been fine, but like I said, it's starting to wear down now because I've used it for quite some time. So I think I will laminate it. If you want to see me make those from scratch for my other planners, uh, if that interests you, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to do that on camera. This pen um, is from Villa Beautiful. They have super beautiful uh, gel pens love the pens like not just the gorgeousness of the pen but the quality of the way it writes I really like these pens a lot then I just have a divider here uh this was from the colorful leopard journal which I think that they still have it it's on sale like I believe it's down to like $11 or something don't quote me on that and I just labeled it with my label maker to say to do I have another top tab here. Uh, I didn't label it yet, but what I added here was just, um, this was a block pad of kind of a daily sheet 
style page. It's blank on the back, which I kind of didn't like, but is what it is. Sometimes I use these like daily pages or I'd been in holding some meetings around my business with myself. It was just an intentional time I took to do uh, reflecting, planning, recording kind of thing. And so I thought I would use these for that. So I just added these in here recently. And then lastly, I have a folder um, and I just have some stickers. A um, few more stickers and um, a piece of paper that on the back has my my identifying number as a dietitian. So that's this planner. It's a great planner. I love it. I've used it for a while. I've kind of messed with it, you know, some of the sections, which is the awesome thing about disc bound planning. But overall, the functionality, functionality of it has stayed the same since I originally conceptualized it. And yeah, I really, really enjoy it. I also thought I would just quickly, I know I'm sorry for the glare here. Let me do that. Um, I just thought I'd share, show you the difference in size in case you're not familiar with half letter. Now, I feel like half letter is having a moment, <laughs> which is cool. I got in the half letter, I think in 2020, and I used a half letter for quite some time. And then I needed a, a smaller planner to take with me on the go at that point, And I'd switched to the mini HP, the mini HP, the mini HP, the, this wasn't the one I used, but I just had it close by so you could see it's even smaller you know this is nine discs this is eight discs this is seven discs so you could see like it's pretty small so that was why it kind of started to be a little too small for me but if you don't need a lot of room um, or you need something portable these are so portable and really i really loved it like I just have a soft spot in my heart for the mini. I know at some point I'll use it again. I know I will uh, because I just really loved it. And I have quite a few videos about my mini if you if you like those. But yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the difference in size. If you're new to these sizes or, uh, you know, if you're curious, the other planner I have this planner, I've kind of started calling my Sunday planner um, just because I have a tendency that if I'm going to use it, a lot of the time it ends up being on a Sunday. But this planner has gone through a lot of iterations. I think um, at one time I was calling it my home management planner. Uh, yeah, the cover I bought from Rebecca Plans. I loved this cover. I had bought it last year for my holiday planner. But now I'm using it on this planner. I have rose gold discs from the Happy Planner. But like I said, I've used this planner in a lot of ways, but kind of what it's become is my use it when I need it planner. Like it's a really functional, helpful planner, but sometimes I don't have time for all that. But when I do and I make the time to use it, it does make a big difference and it will make more sense when we get into it. So yes, gorgeous cover. And then this is a piece of vellum from Live Love Posh that I bought last year as well. It's really pretty. Um, it, Her vellum is, it's a very nice quality. Um, and I bought one for this size and I bought one for the mini HP. Unfortunately, I don't think she sells vellums for half letter, but I think she does A5. It's just clipped to a divider from a journal a divider and it's actually upside down <laughs> because I wanted the tab up here, but you can't tell with the vellum. Then I have in here my wellness vision board because when I made this wellness vision board at the beginning of the year, I was doing my wellness planning in a classic size happy planner. I still loved this vision board, even though I've moved my wellness planning into my half letter. So I just keep it in here. Um, so that's that. I do have a video of how I made that wellness vision board, if you like it. What we get into here is a lined vertical planner that I use for pre-planning. I was doing it with highlighters. I showed it in a video. Honestly, I'm not really a, a big highlighter person. I kind of just started doing it all with pen. This is what it looks like blank. And how I use it when I use it is that I like to track uh, what the weather is going to be for the week up here because I like to put out my kids clothes and my clothes the night before because I get up so early in the morning 
it just relieves a lot of stress when I'm able to do that. So I like to kind of plan ahead some aspects of our week. So I would put the weather across. Um, sometimes I would plan my outfits for work across because it would help me to just have a plan in place and, and make sure I had things like washed and ready and, and all of that stuff. Because like probably a lot of moms, sometimes life just feels like a runaway train. You know what I'm saying? It gets like really hectic. And so this was really helpful for a moment and I kind of got away from it, but lately I have been wanting it to use it again. So you could see I jotted in it a bit last week too. So um, yeah, and then I would just make this hourly and this way I could see the blank spots in my week and it would just kind of help me figure out like where I could plug in, you know, time to film or, you know, time to uh, take a walk or or, you know, whatever it is. So that's how I use these. When I use them, I have alleviated the pressure from this planner, but I have the stuff, so I'll use it when it suits me. Um, and this is the November divider. This was a pretty, very neutral planner. That cover that was on my budgeting planner was from the planner that these came out of. Then I have a divider from the Deep Botanicals. It was a notebook. This is a dashboard. Oh yeah, I don't know if I really showed you this dashboard. Um, these are from the Happy Planner. So there's that one. And then we get, this is my daily pages section. So I had recently picked up on sale the, the Papillon version, classic size uh, daily pages. I really, really like the layout of these daily pages. Something about it works for my brain, <laughs> but a lot of times I'll use this for a to-do list. And sometimes I use this um, to remind me if there's bills to pay on that day. Sometimes I'll record my mood, whatever, whatever I feel like. So there's these um, kind of brownish peachy color ones. These are from the extension pack that I had bought originally and they're just gray and I really like those. I also threw some of the blue pages in. Really pretty. Yeah, I like those. Then I have a meal planning section. Now what I'll say is for the most part, I mainly plan dinners and I probably really don't need all this, but I had it so I figured I'd use it. However, in truth, I I've realized the need now to plan my lunches more. This um, was an undated meal planning extension pack. This page, how I'm going to use it is I'm going to start writing down meals that my family enjoys or that I enjoy because what I find happens is I'll kind of get into like a rotation with certain meals and then after a while I'll forget about something and I'll stop making it and then I'll just kind of forget about it. And then these are the meal. Well, let me turn past my dashboard here, my top tab. These are what the inserts look like blank. So sometimes I use them for lunch and dinner. Sometimes I will only use them for dinner. But what I will tell you is that the way that this helps me is that when I plan these things out, it really helps me with my budget at the grocery store. And I think we've all seen what's happened to, to grocery store prices. It's appalling, right? So that's a really helpful thing to do. So I'm, I'm trying to get back into that. Then I have one more top tab uh, bookmark from the Happy Planner. And then I have a, another blank divider and I have some lined paper really just so I could jot some notes if I want to. I had this like as a home improvement section at one point. I've kind of been working on some of those things in my goals and I was doing that in my half letters and I wasn't really using that section. So I took it out and that's kind of how I, you know, my approach with planners. Like I'll try something and if after a couple months I realize I'm not using it or it's it's not helpful, it's a burden, I just get rid of it. And and I continue to learn and I encourage you to do the same. It you know, if you get frustrated with your planner, I think I think a lot of people do. I think it's a natural part of the process, frankly. You know, why do I have this? Like partly for fun and partly it's an amazing tool, but I just, I'm not going to force it on myself when it starts to feel like extra work. Like that's opposite the idea, right? You know, my, my catch-all planner, it's necessary. Like I need it to run my life. It made a humongous difference when I implemented it. And that's why I continued to, to use one and, and do it. But this like, is my life crashing down if I don't use it? No. But do things go more smoothly when I do? Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my planner lineup for quarter four of 2022. 
I don't really think it's going to change drastically next year. I actually already have a dashboard planner that I picked up. What I did was I bought an 18 month planner from the spring release, uh, a happy planner, a classic size dashboard. It was still the full year for next year, but you know, they go on clearance when the fall release comes out. So I got it for 10 bucks <laughs> and it's the teeny florals one, if you're familiar. So um, that part is definitely going to stay the same, you know, even if, you know, sections of this uh, change at all. Like I'm still using the dashboard layout for my social media planning, at least as far as I can see, it's, it's working out fine for what I do. I'm really, really, really enjoying my half letter. I don't think that that will change. Maybe inserts will change. Right now I'm using the weekly number eights from Jane's Agenda. Let me just show you a blank one. So that's what that looks like. So it's kind of a horizontal layout, but it's a little different in that you have a bulleted list on this side and then a blank space on this side. And then you have a list section here and a little monthly calendar here. She has a layout that is just basically, I think if I remember correctly, it's just dot grid on this side and it's a horizontal layout on this side, but it also has like a list section going down. So I'm thinking about picking those up to start in January of 2023, but yeah, I really do like these inserts. I've really enjoyed them. So those are my weekly number eight inserts from Jane's Agenda. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Let me know, do you use more than one planner? If you do, what do you use them for? I would love to hear. I love chatting planners with you guys. I love connecting with you guys. And just know that I appreciate you so, so much. That's going to do it for this one, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.